What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and we're gonna be going over the Ender's Wands wands that are available for sale right now and the ones that are gonna be coming out soon. Um, as of right now, we have the Series 1 and the Series 2 available. Soon we're gonna be putting out the Series 3. Um, basically all that is is a, like a time stamp of uh, when in the wand shop's life when they were made. So obviously Series 1s were the first wands that I made, the Series 2 were the second set of wands that I made. Um, none of them are the same, so it's not like, you know, there's the purple one from Series 1 and the purple one from Series 2. Um, but I'm going to go over all the ones that are available now and all the ones that are going to be coming out soon, available for sale. Um, remember that all the wands that are sold on the shop come with a wand stand so that you could display the wands. Something similar to this little guy right here. As you can see, the wand goes just like that and it sits on the shelf and you could uh, display it. Um, this wand is actually sold already, and this is the stand for that wand. Um, with this guy, I was actually trying something new, so this has a uh, like a rustic silver metallic look to it. Um, hopefully it translates well in the, in the video. Um, I think it came out pretty nice. There's a couple of little details on there, like the K on the side. The stand also has the information um, of the wizard that it belongs to, as well as the information for the wand that it goes with. So like it says on here, um, it is a peacock feather core, um, rigid, 10 inches long and made out of walnuts. That is this little guy right here. So um, that's that. Remember that if you guys order a wand, let me know what you guys wanted to say on the display on the uh, on the stand so that you guys make it, make it a little bit easier for me. It takes a couple days, it takes one or two days to make the display between um, actually getting it cut and then getting it painted slash stained depending on uh, what we are going for. If you guys have any sort of preference on the stain, if you want a darker wood wood stain um, or if you want a, uh, a metallic looking one like a bronze or a brass, let me know and I'll try to uh, accommodate as best I can. Depending on the materials, it may not be available to make it in certain things. So I guess let's start off with this wand. Um, so this wand was actually, I believe, a series one wand. Um, and it is super old school. I love the design on this wand. Um, if you guys can see that, there's a lot, all of those right there were individually cut um, by hand. And uh, this, I love this wand. I think it came out really cool. Doesn't look like any other wand out there. As far as I know, I haven't seen anything like this, but um, I hope this finds a good home with you. And uh, I hope you, I hope you take care of it. So jumping over to uh, some of the wands that are available right now, here is one of them. I believe this is made out of uh, canary wood, which I love the finish on this wand. I love this wood grain. It looks so freaking good. Um, I really like this wand. I'm gonna be honest with you, I like pretty much all of my wands, so um, I wouldn't put them up for sale if I didn't like them. So uh, it's always hard. I, I don't mind them just sitting there and nobody buying them because I'm like, at least I get to keep them for a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, this, this one's probably one of my favorite designs. I just think everything just flows really well on it, um, including all of these spirals and spins. And there's actually a couple different sections. So this section, all the lines go this way. Then the next section, all the lines go this way. And then the, at the end, it goes straight. Um, and then there's a little uh, logo thing at the end there. Um, this is another good one. I, li I really like this guy. This one is super, super old school. It has a strange moon hook thing at the end and um, this bigger part right here, which again, looks really weird because normally a wand doesn't have this on the um, on the end of it. it. Something like this would be more towards the handle where you would be holding it. So this one is definitely weirdly shaped, um, but I think it makes it look a little bit cooler. It also goes straight and it kind of bends back a little bit. Um, just definitely not for everybody, but it, you know, it's cool. I like it. Also made out of purple heart. Almost forgot to mention that. This one is a more recent one. This is actually, um, mahogany here. And I believe this was made out of sycamore, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this was a sycamore, uh, handle. And then there's just some leather wrapped around the handle. There's these little nice little slots cut out and you could see the, the mahogany going through the middle there. Uh, this one definitely reminds me of a honey, one of those honey dipper things, but I still like it. It looks cool. Um, it's about, let's see how long this thing is. It's almost 12 inches long. Um, most of these wands are around, um, I think the shortest one I have is probably this guy, which is about 10 inches long. I have one other one that's pretty short too. Um, some wands are nicer, short, and uh, some wands just end up being a little bit longer than others. But um, 
This one is is one of the middle 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 of the line ones. Here is another wand that I absolutely love. Um, it's just a simple design. It's it's a very um, plain looking wand, but if you look closely, there's a lot of detail to it, right? So the handle, I love this style of handle. This is probably one of my favorite style of handle where it's not a perfect straight line. Um, it definitely has some weird grooves and stuff to it. And then you got this nice little spiral that goes all the way around. And then even the, the, the shaft here itself is a little bit on the crooked side. It's not perfectly straight. I love these more organic style wands. Um, but sometimes it's nice to make them not organic and try to make a more machined look. But this one was definitely one of the more organic style ones. Compared to something like this, where I tried to go very machined here, so it looks very straight. And then obviously the uh, the pointy end is very straight as well compared to something like this. So here we have a, another Purple Heart designed wand. Um, this has a, it, it almost reminds me of like a tree, like a Christmas tree, the way it's shaped. It has a very, very pointy end. And then the handle here has a, S nice smooth spiral that goes all the way around. Um, I was going for kind of like a, a leaf or a root design, like something something tree-esque. So I was going for like a tree um, natural design with this guy. And then here we have a uh, another one of my favorites. This is also one of the first ones that I ever made. Um, this was made out of Paduke and uh, it has a flat, two flats right here. And then if you turn it this way, it's, it's obviously wider. I put a little bit of gold in, in between there um, inside of these two uh, lines. It's not actually painted, it's actually uh, embossing powder that I used in there. So it's, it almost turns into a plastic um, that's inside these two slots right here. This, this again, um, it almost has the same style shape right there of this one, um, but with less curves less straight lines, I guess, and more of these two circles. Um, and then it also has that spiral that goes around. I really like this one. Um, and this one is actually, like I said, this was one of the first ones I ever made. This was probably like the fourth wand that I made for the shop. I believe, I'm not sure, maybe it may have been the fifth or something like that, but this was one of my, this was one of my favorites. I, they're all kind of my favorites, to be honest with you. Let's let's just be honest, right? So those are all the wands that are available right now for sale. Um, as far as this video is concerned, there may be other ones up already if it's been a little bit. Um, but I do plan on putting up the next ones that I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, so hopefully those are up by now. If you guys plan on getting any wands anytime soon, please go and check it out ASAP just because um, there is going to be a giveaway for something that I'm gonna be releasing in another video. That video should have already come out, so if it is out, um, I know that I'm gonna be doing some sort of giveaway for like, let's say the next three wands that are sold, and you're gonna be getting something for free along with the wand, so um, go check that out if you uh, want to get something for free. So here is one of the new wands that may already be out for sale. Um, this is a very, again, different style woods combined into one wand. Um, the idea for this was that uh, this was basically almost like two wands or this was a wand and then this was a part of a wand that was fused into one wand. Um, so for the core, you actually have an option if you wanna have two different style cores. Um, I'll put that on the, on the thing if you want. Um, just ask for that and it's, it's definitely um, available. Just because it is two different types of wood, it could be two different wands um, fused into one, just like the Traveler's Wand that you guys haven't seen, unless you guys have seen it then. And then we have this one that I never actually made a video about. I mentioned it in another video. Um, this guy, super skinny, weird design, um, very, very uh, skinny, pointy, and uh, this, I believe, is a, uh, I think just oak. This is just an oak piece in, that's inside of here. And then this is obviously Purple Heart. You guys know I love Purple Heart. And uh, I, use, I use Purple Heart for a lot of my wands. Um, not my favorite type of wood, but definitely one of my favorites. I'm gonna be showing off both of these together because they are made out of the same um, wood and the actual, the same piece of wood. They were right next to each other. They were basically, um, these are basically wands that are related to each other because they are made out of that same piece of red heart. I love red heart probably, but besides canary wood, it's probably one of my favorites. Those two are probably my favorite, canary wood and uh, this red heart is just gorgeous. 
Um, these are both spirals, obviously, but two completely different types of spirals. They are roughly about the same size. I believe this one's about 11 and uh, three quarters, and this one's about 11 and a half, um, which I think around 11, 12 inches is about the, the perfect length for a wand, at least me being a, uh, I'm about six foot one. I think it's it's about the perfect length when it, when it comes to how it feels in your hand. Um, these are both very, very different wands from each other, even though they look similar because they both have spirals and stuff, they, they feel completely different um, and they look completely different. But again, these may be up for sale now. So if you guys wanna go check that out. And then we have the one that Mikachi calls the Pocky Stick because it looks like a Pocky Stick. If you don't know what that is, Google Pocky Stick. Uh, it's a Japanese snack treat. It has all these nice little twists and turns in the grain um, from this, I believe it's called Spalted. Um, and basically what it is, is, is almost like a, the tree was dying and it started growing all of this black stuff in there, which just makes it look so cool. Uh, really love this wand. This is another one of those really, really short ones. This wand is basically exactly 10 inches long, just like this guy right here. See, these are both 10 inch long wands and, um, they both feel really, really good. And, um, even though they're small, this one's just super simple, but super, super nice. And I was going for more of a shiny look on it. That's why it looks kind of shiny. This is one of the latest ones that I made. Um, I don't know if I made a video about it. I don't think I did, but uh, you guys could check it out here for the first time. Um, it came out, it comes, it came out pretty cool. I was basically going for uh, trying to make this part of the wand and this part of the wand looking, look like it goes through this part of the wand. Um, it does have a weird hook, so you can like hook it on yourself. It's rounded off though, it's not super, super sharp, so you won't be like cutting yourself or anything like that. I was basically going for that where it looks like the wand is going through the the handle part of it, I guess, um, and then coming out of the other side. Uh, I think it came out pretty cool. This is all burned um, on there, and uh, I think there's a little bit of, um, a little bit of paint on there as well, just to kind of flatten it out because the burn looked a little weird. Um, and I wanted it to look extra, extra black, um, but it came out pretty good. This is also made out of canary wood. So this one is roughly about 12 and a quarter inches long. Um, looks really good. I, I really like this one. It's definitely looks a little bit, I would say darker. If you're a, a darker wizard, um, I would definitely go with something like this. So now let's move on to the ones that are not available for sale and I do not plan on making available for sale unless um, they will be eventually, maybe, probably. So let's start off with this little guy. If you guys have been following us for a while, um, I made a whole video of making this. There was a live stream. Um, I made most of this on the live stream. I was painting it on there. And uh, this wand was originally for Mikachi. And as of right now, it is her official wand. Um, Eventually she may get a new wand and this one may be going up for sale. Uh, I was going for a kind of like Elsa look cause she really likes Elsa. Uh, that's why it's kind of icy. It's actually, I think just made out of oak, but it has uh, a bunch of cool, shiny, bluish, silvery paint on it to give it that uh, icy look. And then we have this little guy. This was one of the most recent wands that I made. I just really, really, really love this wand. Um, I actually have it on the new logo. Uh, it's this wand and this wand right here crossing like this. Uh, that is part of the new logo. Uh, it's just black though. You can't really tell the detail on it, but you can see the shape of it. So if you guys were to get this wand, you'd actually get one of the wands that's on the logo, which um, personally is pretty cool. But yeah, I really like this one. This one's made out of that same thing that the Pocky Stick is made out of. Um, it's just, it has a different um, finish on it. So it came out a little bit darker. Uh, but it's still made out of the, actually the same piece of wood. I really like this just style. Um, I may be making some more designs similar to this one, uh, at least with the string and stuff. I really like the the way that that looks and the tie. It was just kind of an experiment that I tried out and it was like, okay, okay, it look, looks pretty good. And then one of the ones that everybody um, seemed to like when I made is the, we call this one the Traveler's Wand. Um, this is almost like a f kind of officially my wand. Um, a lot of people see it as that, but right as of right now, it's not for sale. It's made out of three different types. Um, there's some Purdue on the bottom, uh, purple heart, obviously are the two purple parts. And then this right here is the same wood <clears throat> that this guy is made out of, which is, um, I believe this was just like some oak that I used. Um, 
and yeah, and then we have some string tying it all up together. Um, I would have ch I would change a couple things on this if I were to remake it. Um, too bad I don't remake wands, but it, yeah, it came out pretty freaking good. It has a lot of unique things that a lot of my other wands don't have. Um, it is a little bit on the bigger side. Some people don't like big handles like this. Um, I, I, I'm kind of indifferent about it. I don't really care. Some wands look good with it. Some wands don't. So it's it's all it's all preference. Um, the idea between behind this one is that it's basically just a wand that's like that's traveled, that's that's been through a lot, that's that's had a lot of damage, and it's had to be mended and and rebuilt and um, you know basically reassembled. And uh, one of my favorites, definitely in the like the top three wands that I've ever made. And then the wand that I get the most questions about, which is the twin wands, which uh, I am gonna be making some new twin wands at some point, but this sadly is not for sale. At some point, it may be going up for sale. This one actually has um, a couple of magnets in there, and you can see that this one has a, you can see the magnet a little bit right there. Um, there's actually two magnets on each wand, and that's what holds them together in place. Um, and yeah, again, Purple Heart, a little bit of uh, some silver, purpley, black, uh, blue acrylic paint, just to kind of give it this, the depth in the color, and that's what gave, gives it that uh, that difference in the purple. It's not just a flat purple. But um, this is one of the my favorite wands, um, and I just don't think I could part with it, um, at least not right now. Basically, at some point, it will most likely be up for sale. Um, so if you really want this one, just keep an eye out. I probably won't make a big announcement about it. I may just put it up for sale and uh, it'll be on whoever reaches out first and, uh, and, and buys it. So guys, thank you guys so much for, oh, I almost forgot. We got this little guy. I almost forgot to show you this. Um, so this was again, one of, this was probably, nope, yep. Yeah, this was the first wand that I ever made for the shop. Um, so technically the third wand that I ever um, crafted and uh, this this was the box I made this box so this was like a handmade box you can see here um, everything was made by hand and uh, this was the third wand I, I just it's it's not up for sale right now um, but obviously whenever it does go up for sale you're gonna be getting the box with it um, so that's the wand that's the box this is the first wand that was ever made for the store. Um, it is very, very, uh, I guess you could say it's precious to me. Um, it's not very big. I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this one. So this is, one, like I said, one of the first ones, um, first one that I ever made, thinking to make it for like, you know, a shop, making a shop and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making wands and stuff and that'll be cool. And hopefully people like the stuff that I make. Um, this is one of the originals. Uh, and this is one of the original old school boxes. So if you guys ever get one of these, if you ever get this wand, um, just know that that it's a. Uh, this one's probably been with me the longest, besides my two first wands that I ever made for myself, which were my Pottermore wands and the um, the remake Pottermore wand, which I guess I might as well show you guys. Um, so this is me, my this is me original Pottermore wand. Um, so this is the original Pottermore wand that I made. If you guys remember that video. If you don't go and check it out um, I actually hand carved this with like a with a box cutter and just like sanded it down and stuff uh, this this one was this one took me several hours to make and I think it came out pretty cool it looks pretty beat up and stuff um, and then this was the remake of the Pottermore wand but like a new design for it um, this one's pretty cool because it actually has a some metal in here, which gives it a nice weight to the wand. Uh, but it's basically the same style, you know, you have the ball and then the lines on the, on the, on the end there. And uh, that's what I was going for, just a redesign of this design. But that about wraps it up, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down below. Um, let me know which one is your favorite wand. Um, and let me know if you guys plan on picking any of them up. Remember, if you guys do get a wand, it does come with a wand stand. And if you wanna get a wall mount, those are gonna be available too, but those are gonna cost a little bit extra. Um, possibly $20, I don't know yet. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you guys want me to make any more videos like this, or if you want me to go in depth with any of the wands. Um, also, let me know what wand is your favorite out of all of these. If you guys stay tuned, 
this long and you guys watched this whole video, thank you guys so much. I'm also gonna be doing some future um, giveaways. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway every month for all the Patreon subscribers. And I just wanna let you guys know that we are almost at 10 patrons. Um, so if you guys jump over there and give as little as a dollar, uh, you guys will be entered to win the 10 Patreon patron wand giveaway. I do plan on every month doing a giveaway, but also the big milestones, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway as well for patrons. So if you guys wanna be a part of that, um, jump over there and let's let's be friends. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the stuff that I've been making and all that stuff. And I just keep rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye, bye, bye.